co-valedictorian Taylor Blevin will now give her valedictory address. Father Collins, Mrs. Tennyson, Dr. Vidot, Mrs. Hayes, Mrs. Collins, trustees, faculty, parents, friends, and of course, to the graduating class of 2013. Good afternoon. Today marks the end of our high school careers. It marks the beginning of a period of rapid change before we go off to school in the fall. Today, we will say goodbye to beloved classmates and teachers and will feel the bittersweet mix of accomplishments and of loss. Today, we end one of the most formative periods of our lives so far and reflect on everything that has brought us to this ceremony today. I have heard many people comment on how goal-oriented Sacred Heart students are. For better or for worse, it seems that we are always pursuing a goal, whether it is personal, academic, artistic, or athletic. Once that goal is achieved, we move on to the next one, striving to further ourselves to that start of real life. The Australian philosopher, Father Alfred D. Souza, aptly describes this phenomenon of waiting for real life to begin. He says that, in waiting for real life to begin, there was always some obstacle in the way, something that had to be gotten through first, some unfinished business, some time still to be served, a debt to be paid. Then life would begin. At last it dawned on him that these obstacles were his life. For the past few months and even years, that physics test you were never quite prepared for, that project you were always trying to make perfect, or that college essay that was never quite right, were these obstacles. Graduation has been the end goal for all of them. It was what justified those late nights and early mornings, those grueling sports practices and the many hours spent on extracurricular activities. And now that I'm here, I find myself asking, why is this worth it? Graduation is, in a sense, the culmination of all of these goals we strive to achieve throughout the past four years. It is at times like these that I feel compelled to ask the infamous question, so what? This brings to mind a story in which a young but earnest Zen student approached his teacher and asked the master, if I work very hard and diligently, how long will it take me to find Zen? The master thought about this, then replied, 10 years. The student then said, but what if I work very, very hard and really apply myself to learn fast? How long then? Replied the master, well, 20 years. But if I really, really work at it, how long then? Asked the student. 30 years, replied the master. But I do not understand, said the disappointed student. Each time that I say I will work harder, you say it will take me longer. Why do you say that? replied the master, when you have one eye on the goal, you only have one eye on the path. Given the fact, given the fact that we seem to have spent the past four years with our eyes on the goal, I thought I'd spend a few minutes reminding you all of the path that led us to today. It is relatively easy to represent what we have done in our high school careers. We can list the classes we took, the sports we played, the plays we were in, and the awards we won. Each and every one of us up here has a resume containing that exact information. But as we have heard time and time again, we are more than our resumes. Those little quirks that make you the funniest, the kindest, the most sarcastic, the most brutally honest, the most adventurous, or the most outgoing person in our grade are, in my opinion, what the true value of an educational experience like this is. This school, like any other, has served as a source of knowledge for its students. We learned writing mechanics, mathematical and scientific principles, foreign, language and our, foreign languages and artistic skills. Completing courses in each of the aforementioned areas is the requirement for graduation. 
This paper, cert this paper certificate that we have just received certifies that we are ready for the next step. But that piece of paper is, in my opinion, representative of a lot more than what I had to do to get it. Rather than certifying that I know everything I need to leave high school, it represents what I will be taking with me to school in the fall. Yes, I'm sure what I learned in class will come in handy, but it is not what makes this diploma truly valuable.